What's up, everybody? It's John with John Sports Arts coming at you with a brand new video. It's Wednesday. I hope all is well with you. Hope you're staying safe, staying indoors, and just trying to remain calm. This will all be over soon. That's all I can say. I try to say that every single time, but I actually hope you guys are all staying healthy and um, being safe. <clears throat> She's been practicing proper social distancing and all the other good stuff that we have to do right now. It's strange times, but again, we will get through this and it will all change in the near future and we'll be happy once again. Okay, we're happy now, but you know what I mean. All right, what do we got in front of us? We've got this hockey repack box by Cadence Cards. I think it's been tampered with. I will show you what I'm seeing on this box. And it's extremely disappointing. I purchased this a while ago on eBay. You may have seen our baseball card uh, repack box by this company, Cadence Cards. They're kind of out of business. They sell these uh, these boxes on eBay. Um, I've never really seen the hockey one open up here on uh, YouTube. So it's kind of rare in a sense. So we're going to open up this and see what the 10 packs are inside. It says vintage and new. But we know we're probably going to get a bunch of the junk wax era. I hate using that term, but the overproduced era of hockey cards which started probably in the early 90s, uh, late 80s, early 90s, and so on and so forth, and went on after that. Um, but I'll show you what I'm talking about here with this box being tampered with. And it's just such a shame that a company like this uh, sells a product like this, but then has to go and open up their box before they send it out to you to make sure there's nothing good inside. And I'll show you how this was tampered with. So um, let's open this up, and I'll show you for the, real quick what I'm talking about here. So you can see the seal. Um, it was kind of loose and, uh, it's, it looks like it had been pulled on, but this is the, this is the real giveaway right here. So here's what the Cadence, um, sticker looks like on this side. You can see that that's the legitimate one they had put on there, but obviously they opened this up. You can see the tear mark here on the box and they put a new one over it, a plain clear one. So right away when I got this, when I got this, um, in the mail, I knew, and this, and this one looks kind of tampered with here. You can see the peel marks here from where they pulled it up. Um, so let's get this thing open and find out what the packs are. Yeah, you can see they broke it. You can see that there too. So they kind of just put this back that way, kind of push it down real hard to make sure that I might not notice, but I did right away as soon as I got these out of the box that it came in. All right, let's get these open. Now this one, you can tell is the original because it is really hard to tear. And um, this was definitely not pulled, but that other one was. And let's see if they even give us 10 packs. And what the packs are. We're still going to have fun with this, though. So let's, uh, let's try to stay as positive as we possibly can here on the channel with this repack box of hockey cards. And all right, so we got Upper Deck High Series. And this even looks like it was open. And that's uh, attached to something else. So, okay. We got a... Um, 1990-91, sorry, let me turn this down a little bit. Tell this just a little bit. Good room here. 1990-91 Upper Deck High Series um, pack. You got a 91-92 uh, OPG with the gum still intact in here. You got Impact, 96-97 Skybox. NHL on, on Fox, a little add there. You got Pro Set Jumbo Pack. For 1993. I mean, we'll, we'll probably get some big names out of here. This is disappointing to see stickers in here, but well, I guess we'll take it. Um, Panini product here from 1991. There's Wayne Gretzky, six album stickers, 91 score. Might be able to get somebody decent out of that. This one is um, Hobby, a hobby Pack of Upper Deck from 94, and it's going to probably be a brick if you can hear that. That's never a good sound. Never a good sound on cards. 1990 Tops Hockey. These are over produced by really like this year of Tops. Um, Pro Set from 91 92, the Series 1, you know, 91 Bowman. Again, a really cool um, year for Bowman hockey cards, but just again, overproduced. And there's Ontario Hockey League. Tomorrow starts today from 1991. So let's see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. They gave us 11 things in here, the hockey pack, hockey stickers. I think I counted that right. Five. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, they gave us a little bonus. Oh, boy. 
hockey stickers. So we didn't get any like vintage. I didn't even show you the box here, guys. Let me show you this box. So they talk about just the typical thing. We, we contain graded cards, signed cards, relic cards, redemptions. Obviously, that's none of that's in here. And they, you know, they give the, the promise that you might find one of these packs or one of these like really valuable cards, like Gretzky's work card. Come on. And then um, it just talks about the stuff that you might find in here. And there you go. So there are actually odds on this box. Let's get these packs open and see what the cards are inside. And we'll try to make this as fun as possible. And I hopefully won't butcher these names as, as nearly as bad um, as I did with the modern players. So I'm trying to figure out what we're going to open up first. So let's just go in no particular order and just open these up. Let's see these hockey stickers first from Panini. These are from 1990-91. All right. Here's the back of the pack, by the way. All right, let's see who is in this one. We start with Craig Janney. It's kind of cool, a little different. Here's what the back of these stickers look like. All right, you got Keith Brown, New York Islanders team logo. Nice uh, shot there, the cup. Bernie Nichols and then the Stanley Cup Championship. Little emblem there. Okay, that's out of the way. Let's do this one here first. Upper Deck High Series from 1990, 91. Let me pull some of the cards out. Kind of cool. All right, wow. So you got Troy Millette. And um, we got the Upper Deck logo down here. Eric Rangers, team name. Nice uh, team logo there. And nice shot of Mr. Millette. Here's what the back of these look like. Just like the baseball cards, same design. Just a little bit different fonts down here for the uh, typeset. Uh, Lemieux checklist for the Penguins. World Junior Champ Championships, David Harlock. John Carter for the Bruins. Uh, Yanni uh, Olin. Brian Trottier there on the Pens, but obviously we know him as a longtime New York Islander. Jeff Jackson there on the Quebec Nordiques. Andrew Castles. Star rookie card for the Canadiens, Brian Leach, all-star game card for Wales Conference. Uh, Dave Tippett, they were the Hartford Whalers, miss them. Thomas Sendstrom for the LA Kings. And Keith Acton for the Philadelphia Flyers. That packs out of the way. His 96-97's Impact Skybox cards. Ten cards per pack, and let's see what's in here. These don't seem to be... You can have crap on the set. That one pack's going to be brutal. It will. Let's try to do that next. Get that out of the way. Okay, so you got the Skybox logo up here. Vincent Demfus. Uh, name down here. And then what position. And then just a nice shot of him there. This cards are pretty cool. Here's the back. Vital stats. Going back to his uh, uh, minor league days. And then, uh, or what junior leagues, whatever you want to call them. Uh, and then a nice additional shot of Mr. Demfus. Valerie Bure. Uh, we got Nikolai Hubby Bulin. This is uh, Jamie Rivers, rookie car with the St. Louis Blues. Joe Sackick. Ron, Ronnie Francis there in the pens. Brandon Witt. Uh, Alexander Selevinoff. For the Lightning, Daniel Alfordson for the Ottawa Senators. This is Keith Primu for the Red Wings. And we end with, what is this? Like a get in motion to win kind of insert ad. They're blocked. Oh, okay, it's a game. It's a game thing. So there you go with that. Okay, that packs out of the way. Let's see what else we got here. Where is that one that's going to be cracking? It's cracking like crazy. Which one is it? It is this Pro Set one. I oh, know it's this upper deck one. We're going to do that one. Get that out of the way so it doesn't slow us down. So, Series 2 Hobby Pack. There's Gretzky on the front. Um, and then, since so a Hobby Pack, and watch, we'll get something good out of here and it'll be ruined because of some sort of stickage problems. Or well, let's stay optimistic. Maybe we'll be okay. But no, it's kind of, well, let's see what we can do here. Mike Gartner starts us all out. New York Rangers. It's kind of interesting cards. Uh, you got the upper deck SP. Logo down here, Rangers, uh, team name, Mike Gardner, right wing position. There. Here's the back. It's a little blur about Mr. Gardner and his stats, career stats and season stats down below. Okay, next up we've got um, 
Bill Hard. We got Scott Seasons. Let's see if I say his name. Dale Howard Chuck there on the Sabres. Loved him when he was in the Jets years ago. Dougie Gilmore, Toronto Blue Jets, Toronto Blue Jets, Toronto Maple Leafs. Uh, Phil Housley, St. Louis Blues, great player there. It's a, a turnaround card. They're stuck together. Um, this is World Junior Championships. You got John Coleman, or John Canton, sorry. That's no, John Coleman from Canton, Massachusetts. And then you got um, something out of us. Can't read it. Um, is that Kretzky? Uh, Bob J. Ronnie Hextall there on the Islanders. And then the last two cards that are stuck together are uh, Igor Kor Kovalev, Korvalev, and then Paul Yeisbart Yais for the Winnipeg Jets. Okay, the original Winnipeg Jets. All right, let's do this pro set. Hottest start, hot cards on ice, 91-92 Series 1 pro set. You buy these for very cheap. Online because they are extremely overproduced um, years of hockey cards. They burst starts us off uh, again, just like the uh, the uh, football pro set cards. They always have this kind of crazy action photo here. Um, here is the uh, Red Wings logo, Dave Barr name, pro set logo up there, and then the back same same look here as the football cards. Nice shot of Mister Barr there, probably on the on the uh, bench, and then his stats going back to his first season. A little. Information about Mr. Barr. We okay, got Jeff Norton, Murray Craven, Joe Newendike, then the Calgary Flames, Troy Millette, Rangers Derek Smith, JJ Danois, or is it is it Dagnall? I think it's Danois. Uh, Jeff Courtnell, Randy Muller, Sergey Fedorov, great player there. Pierre Turgeon, another awesome player there. Pat Lafontaine, the All Star card there. Mark Messier, some big names. Joey Mullen, Bill Ranford, great goaltender from back in the day there. I remember him being in the Bruins and then a, um, a pro set ad, 10 cents off, little coupon. All right, next one will do Bowman 91. I don't think I've ever seen, I've seen pictures of these, but I don't think I've ever opened up a pack of these. This is the first time. And they're going to have the same look as the Bowman baseball cards, is my guess, on the back. Yeah, well, kind of, kind of. Right, let's see what we got here. Where do these start? Right here. Okay, so they do look just like the baseball cards to an extent. So here's Eddie Belfer. Um, I don't think this is, is this a rookie. Uh, I don't believe this is Eddie's rookie card. Um, but there you go. Nice shot of Eddie Belfer. Um, or Belfour. Uh, Bowman logo there. And that's it. Not even like team name. We all know he was a longtime Chicago Blackhawk. And then he was on other teams too. He was in Toronto Maple Leafs. Oh, gosh, my, my mind, I can't remember what team Ed was on. Uwe Krupp, Sylvain Lefay, Paul Sy Sire, didn't he say his name, for the Hartford Whalers, Terry Yake, Dave Gagne, or Gagner, uh, Frantisa Kuchera, Cam Neely, Jamie Baker, Cup finals, you got a like um, a foil cup up on the corner on this one. Uh Stanley Cup Finals game number two, the Pens and the North Stars when we swept I think we swept them. Um that was an awesome series. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Peter Peter, Peter Stasny, the Stasny brothers, Gordon Murphy, great defenseman there. Claude Lemieux, another great player for the New Jersey Devils, and then Ken Reggett there on the Flyers would later play for our Pittsburgh Penguins. I don't know if they these are going to have like the logo, like the logo, the rookie stuff. They usually had a stamp on the back. It was like kind of like a rookie card. I don't see it. I'd have to look at the stats and I'm not going to go through all this. Okay. But if one of these was a rookie card, let me know. Like if Eddie Belfort was, well, let me know. Okay. 1990-1991 collector's cards from the Ontario Hockey League. Tomorrow starts today. Let's see if we get any big out of this. All righty. Here we go. Derek. Gauthier, Norman, I'm not going to just go through these, Justin Cullen, Gib Tucker, Mark Vilniff, Len McNamara, Coach, I guess, Michael Ye Yeo, Yeo, Sean Rivers, Fred Tiley, 
Tilly. Um, and then this is uh, Jeremy Stevenson. All right, whoops, sorry. Did I have the Ollie in there? Hopefully I didn't. Okay, so let me know if any of those guys, I don't recognize any of those names. Okay. Uh, we'll do tops last. What's this one? OPG score. Let's do this Pro Set 1993 Series 1 Jumbo Pack. You get a bought for two bucks back in the day. So this was kind of, yeah. Well, let's just get, let's finish this out and we'll comment on my thoughts on this whole thing. It was Cadence Cards Company. Okay, Alexander McGilney, big name there. Eddie Olchek there on the Winnipeg Jets. Nicholas Lindstrom, another huge name. Uh, Paul Cavallini, St. Louis Blues. Dougie Gilmore, another massive name. Ron Sutter, one of the Sutter brothers. They're on the Blues. This is Garth Butcher, St. Louis Blues. Adam Oates, another massive name. Dave Williams, I remember him being kind of, a, am I right to say he was a, was he a fighter or was that Dave Williams of the Canucks? I don't know. Mike Huff, Quebec Nordiques. Luke Robitaille, he was awesome. Love Luke Robitaille and the Kings and the Penguins. You got uh, Evgeny Davidoff, rookie card. Jim Benning for the uh, Lightning. Mark Tenorti for the Dallas Stars at that point. Am I correct in saying that? All time team. Card there, John Casey for the Stars. They weren't still in Minnesota, though, right? Didn't they move to Dallas at that point? I'm not sure. Billy Ranford for the Oilers, great goaltender there. Benoit Hogue for the Islanders. Uh, Michel Pov Michael Pavanka, I almost said Michel Pavanka, Pierre Turgeon, a great player there for there on the Islanders. Uh, Fatisov for the Devils. Michelle Goulet for the, uh, well, he was, he was in the end of his career. He been for a long time. Michelle Goulet for the Blackhawks there. Sergey Fedorov, Dirk Graham, Cal Johansson, Sergey Markarov. You got a rookie of Ray Whitney. They're the San Jose Sharks. Nice. Rookie for Felix Potvin. That's, I'll take that card. That's not too bad. I'll take a rookie Felix Potvin. Felix the Cat card right there. Nice Wayne Gretzky, assist leader card. Sylvain Turgeon. Nice. Larry Murphy. That was, for some reason, I thought it was, it was uh, Lemieux. But Larry Murphy is a good one, too. He was a really good defenseman for us. And the LA Kings. He got 91-92 team leader card. Dougie Gilmore. Okay. So there you go with that. Got a Gretzky kind of like, well, Gretzky card, assist leader card. But the Popvin rookie isn't bad. All right. Let's see what we can get out of these. Let's do the score 91. Ah, uh, which year is the Yager rookie? Is it 90? I don't know if there's anybody 91. But we did like a live stream of that guy last year. Nobody watched it. <laughs> uh, and I broke that box and we found a bunch of his cards. So his rookie card. Yager. Uh, Musil. Frank Musil. For the Flames. Uh, by the way, I didn't show the back of this pro set. Or did it? They were the same. They're just different year. Same kind of look. And then, um, did I miss anything else? So the back of these, here's Dave Lowry, 91 score. So again, Blues, just the team name, no city. Dave Lowry, the puck back there. Um, score 91, and then the back of this looks like that. It's like their score baseball cards and football. And there you go. Nice long thing about Mr. Lowry, his career stats, and the stats in the year prior, and then all his vitals above that. All right, Don Sweeney, Ken Reggett. Ken Baumgartner, Brian Benning, Gary Nyland, Gary Volk. So I was like big into hockey then, so that's why I'm not destroying these names so bad. Dave Barr, uh, Peter, that one I'm dying on. <laughs> Sikorowitz with the Whalers, Man of the Year. Brett Hall with his um, stick on fire. It's kind of funny. Kevin Todd, Kip Miller for the Nordiques Top Prospect card. Kevin Todd's top, top prospect card, too. Dougie Wilson, awesome defenseman for the Blackhawks and the Sharks. And was there anybody else? Patrick Waugh, Montreal Canadiens. And not a, not a rookie card. Okay, for Mr. Waugh. Awesome goaltender. All right, let's finish out. Here's OP Chief from 91-82. The gum is still in here. You can see the back. I don't think this is, this doesn't seem to be opened. But you never ever know. There's kind of muck coming out of here, so let's see. 
the fingers crossed. There's the gum. The gum is gross. You can see how bad that is. Look at that mold. That's not good. Some card bit the dust there, and it is Oleg Yashin. It's um for it's one of the Russian team cards. That sucks, but what are you gonna do? Is let's put that over there. That one's that one's bit the dust. Peter, oh gosh. Sikorowitz for the Whalers again. Kurt McLean. I do like these though. I my love OPG, period. So you hockey fans out there, I love old OPG cards. We my dad bought sets of them and um they didn't sell packs here in the States. This might have been the year they came in. I can't remember exactly what year, but we would have to go to the um, LCS to buy the sets, and we have a bunch of them, and we showcase a few of them here on the channel. Here's Kurt, Kurt McLean. Did I say Kurt Muller? Kurt McLean for the Vancouver Canucks. And I forgot he was in the Devils for a second, too. So there you go with that. Michelle Goulet. Terry Yake. Nice Ray Bork. We'll take that one. Phil Bork. One of our announcers here. If we ever get the season going again, we'll hear his voice. Igor Larnoff. Bob Erie, another one of our announcers. How weird is that? Two of our announcers in one pack. And Shell Samuelson, who um, we played for the Penguins after the Flyers. And then he uh, ended up marrying or something with one of the people that worked for my dad back in the day. So during the cup years. So, okay, my finger just showed up there. Last pack, 1990 Tops. I don't know why I thought about that and just wanted to share that with you about Mr. Shell Samuelson, but he was with us and we had Ulf on the team too. So with the Samuelson uh, boys, they weren't brothers, but they were just were both defensemen and it was a good time for the Penguins. So here's the front of this pack. There's going to be gum inside here and um, it's not sticking. It's all broken up down there. The other gum is gross, and I wish it, wish it would not have ruined that card. We did open up um, half a box of this um, a while ago, and we have to do the other half of the box. I've just been putting off hockey cards because, to be honest with you folks, here, the hockey videos that we do here, have here on the channel are our lowest viewed videos. So, I'd, you know, as much as I love hockey, I try not to showcase the product that often because – doesn't get very good views. Everyone's all about baseball, which I love. It's my favorite thing. But um, I try to give hockey attention here and there. But hopefully th that'll catch on. So um, these are these uh, leader cards that are in each pack. Here's Cam Neely. And uh, here's what the back of them look like. So that each, each team has a card. And it has the scoring leader on there. So um, we got a bunch of them in the last one. We did that box. John Tonelli. And I love the look of these cards. They're really cool. They're very different. See the hockey stick up here. Got the Kings team name tops logo. Nice shot of Mr. Tonelli there up against the boards. No helmet on it. Isn't that funny? Um, and then player name, position, and the back of these look like this. I love these colors. These are really nice. I wish tops did hockey, but they don't. And um, I wish they would bring these kind of cards back. It would be awesome. An upper deck and uh, OPG are the only ones that I see out there. So, um, and I guess those are tied in with Panini somehow. So, I really wish, or maybe they're not, but anyway, I really wish the Toss would be able to do hockey cards again. Look at this Kings uh, team card there. Dave Chisnowski, Chisnowski, top prospect. Probably screwed that name up there for the Islanders. Peter, uh, S S uh, I'm not gonna, Mike Madonna. This might be a rookie, and it's destroyed if it is. And uh, that's a shame. I don't know if that's his rookie card or not. Nice Paul Coffey. Uh, Sinsolo, I don't know. Jarvi, gosh, these names are killing me here. Peter Klima, Mike Gartner, Randy Gillen, Paul McDermott for the Jets, Vili Siren, and then Michelle Goulet. Nothing really spectacular out of that pack. That's it, guys. That's the, the box of the Cadence Cards uh, repack box. And really not a whole lot to highlight here. A lot of big names, but nothing like... No major polls or anything like that out of this. Uh, when I did the baseball one, I kind of was getting ready to be disappointed with this one. But I figured I'd break, bring, break it open and share share this stuff with you. We did get a couple cards. We got some big names there. Ray Bork, this OPG one. I mean, it's, it's like a 10 year, 10th year in the league card or something like that. Got a Gretzky Pro set. Um, this is the back of this one. 
um, assist leader card. And then we got we did get Felix Pov and Felix the Cat did get his rookie card for Pro Set. But again, an overproducer of cards uh, in the hockey uh, world, and um, you can buy those boxes of Pro Set for pretty cheap on eBay. So there you go. That that's it, guys. Uh, not much, not much, else, not much else to say about this, except it was a little bit disappointing. And, uh, especially when I opened up the box, when it was sent to me, um, and then to find that it had been basically opened. And that was the issue with the baseball one too. And so I think this company did is they went and they, um, I think they went under, to be honest with you. And they went through all their boxes to try to figure out if anything had anything of value in them. They took them out and kind of resealed them, you know, half, you know what? half <laughs> uh and and uh and and then resold them for like they're like they're cheap on um on ebay you can get these for like i think i paid 12 bucks for this or something along those lines it wasn't very much um and that's it guys okay hopefully you enjoy this even though it was the best one it's cool to see some of these things sometimes and now you know if you're into hockey cards stay away from this product don't buy this not good unless you like breaking open old packs again i'm not going to tell you what to do but my personal opinion is I wouldn't purchase this if I was out there and looking at this again. That's it, guys. Um, what else can I say? That's it for today. Remember, if you're not a subscriber, like what you see here, the subscribe button around below. Manning Swing gives me a thumbs up like this video. Comment down below if you're seeing this product. Um, Send this with your friends, family, and loved ones. eBay store link is down below in the description. Tomorrow's Throwback Thursday, so you're going to want to stick around for that one. It's going to be pretty cool. And then Friday, we have Universal Treasures, the uh, vintage baseball card box that uh, has vintage cards, some tops only from 1983 all the way down to 1952. You're going to want to watch that video. We opened up a box of, of that product about a month or so ago, and we pulled a Mickey Mantle card out of it. Not the 52, but we pulled a nice Mickey Mantle card out of that box, plus a lot of, a lot of other awesome uh, cards. So hopefully we'll have a repeat performance from that box. That'll be on Friday. So that's it for today, folks. Hey, again, thanks for watching. This is John Jones, Sports Card signing off, and we'll see you all soon.